And then, wait, can I make yaba? <laughs> yes, please. Can I make yaba? Parang so, kanina pa yata. <laughs> so, ayan, no, 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 no. Wait. So, one time I was biking. And then, a uh, couple on a motorcycle passed me. And they were very distinct because the lady was in pink. But for some reason, they kind of paused and then looked back at me. And I was like, okay, you know. So, bike, bike. Then I reached up in Antipolo. That same couple passed me. And they, the, the lady went like this and said, Naunahan pa tayo na nakabike. <laughs> you know, I was like, woohoo! But I have to say, because I was fast because my Strava was on. So <laughs> was Welcome to the Cycling Matters Podcast, your weekly dose of discussions about our love for bike. Bike? Bike. bike. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you in cooperation with Ciclo. Hi, I am Jan. I'm King. And we are the Cycling Matters Podcast. In this episode of the Cycling Matters Podcast, we have guests from Bicycle Friendly Philippines. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Bicycle Friendly Philippines is a movement that works towards a more conducive environment for cycling by coordinating with policymakers, government agencies, and local government units or LGUs. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Cycling Matters podcast on Spotify. We release new episodes every Monday. Just search Cycling Matters in your favorite podcast platform. Put on some earphones and ju- enjoy the discussion. We're also available on YouTube. Welcome to the show. Thank Hi. you. Hello. Thanks Hello. for having us. Hi. <laughs> now, um, first of all, could you introduce uh, yourselves to our uh, l- listeners? I'm I'm Rosar, and uh, I'm one of the supposedly founders <laughs> of the Bicycle <laughs> Friendly Philippines. Um, I'm a long-time bicyclist, and uh, I enjoy cycling yeah. nice and i'm karen i'm his better half <laughs> and uh co-founder of bicycle friendly philippines and because of him i'm also very much into cycling and uh it's, it's what we do right thank you thank you again for coming um so before we talk about bicycle friendly philippines Haran, we want to know like what got you into cycling or like when did you start cycling Who'll go first? Uh, it, any. <laughs> with me, it's a long story. Um, I was a little kid, grade school, and I saw <laughs> the old bike of my Lolo up there, and nobody was using it, and I asked my Lolo to fix it for me. And then that's when I started teaching myself, uh, myself to bike. Wow. So I, I'd go to the front of the, of the church, because the the front of the church has a, uh, a slight uh, incline or right. slope, so I'll start from the from the door of the church and then, you know, teach myself how to balance. Uh, how to balance. Right. Yeah. So that's that's when I started, and then <clears throat> when I went to the city to Manila to to work and study. Well, work already. That's when I started uh, bicycle commuting. It Ooh, was a short. Yeah. It was a short uh, route. From from somewhere in San Paolo to somewhere in Ermita, so it was a good it's a good route. Uh, I didn't have to take uh, different uh, rides, uh, um, taking jeeps and that. Um, but so so that's 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 how I started bicycle commuting, sort of. And then the sad news is, my bike got stolen. Oh. oh no! Oh, yeah, worst feeling. It was it was worst. parked there. I parked it yeah, right, right outside the building, and then in the middle of the day, I looked out the window, and then I asked myself, "Did I bike today?" <laughs> because my bike wasn't oh, no. there anymore. That was sad. But you know, I I met Karen, and she bought me another bike. And that's when I continued. Nice. <laughs> continued my cycling adventures. That's how I started. Cool. Nice. Like Thank him, you. I also started as a kid. Uh, I think I had older brothers who taught me how to bike, except that, you know, the challenge was I was tiny even from the get go. So I was always learning how to bike on an oversized bike yeah. where I could hardly, I couldn't reach the ground. So I would. Sa kulit ko, I would actually uh, lean that oversized bike against our ping pong table, climb up on that ping pong table, get on the bike, kick off, and bike. And then I just make myself fall. 
that's how cool it I, I was, you know, about mm. really wanting how to bike. But, you know, come to think of it, that oversized bike uh, was also the first bike I used on our first date. Oh, wow. That, it was, yes. It was a Patria bike. It was a Patria bike, yeah. Uh-huh. It's a really Vintage. old bike, yeah. It was just, it so happened that it was, um, I worked in Infanta Quezon and my brother was there ahead of me. He brought that bike with him. And when I had just met this this uh, handsome fellow over here and he <laughs> asked me, do you have a bike? And I was thinking, yeah, uh, yeah, I have a bike. So, you know, that's actually also the same bike I used when I was learning how to bike. So I got into biking or bike commuting also. I used to, I have to, I have to admit, I used to drive. I drive in college, drive everywhere. You know, it's that era. Of course. You know? But, uh, and also, I drive the kids to school, go to the bank, uh, drive. But uh, when I met him, he's the one who really got me into, who, now Mulat, uh, mm-hmm. he opened my eyes to, you don't have to drive everywhere. We can bike. So our first date was on a bike. But then later on, when we started having the children, he's the one who influenced me then to start, you know, letting go of being so car-centric. Mm-hmm. And right. biking, you know, there. And well, the truth be told, our I also realized that every time we're in a car, like for our wedding anniversary, he gets so stressed, and I get stressed. <laughs> and so one time, sorry, ha, let me make this cuento. No, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I said, I said like this. I said, uh, Rosa, I'm going to ask you some questions. I just don't, but don't. You can only answer, but don't ask questions. I said, choose two or four. So he goes. Two. I said, up or down? He goes, up. Finally, so some other questions, and finally said, dressed or undressed? And he goes, <laughs> dressed. So when the t- time came for our wedding anniversary, I said, you remember those questions I asked you? And he goes, yeah. I said, well, because you chose two and not four, we're going out on our wedding anniversary on two wheels. Oh, wow. And because he said up and not down, we're going up eastward, you know. Oh, yeah. And because he said dressed and not, not and not, you know, I said, we have to be dressed nicely. Right. So we went out on our first date. I brought candles. I had a, a sarong that doubled as a either punk picnic or mm-hmm. for a tablecloth. Mm-hmm. And, you know, ever since then, I realized how relaxed he was. Mm-hmm. And so it's, we've been celebrating our wedding anniversary always on bicycles. For how many oh, years? Oh, that's nice. It's yeah. going on, uh, we've, well, we've been married for 31 years. Of the 31 years, our wedding anniversary is always mga 16 years now wow. on bikes. And then a couple of times we offered free coffee yeah. on our anniversary. Two cyclists. Oh, cyclists. nice. Two cyclists. Yeah. So yeah. we'll station ourselves outside our house. by the house. And yeah. With a sign, Libre ng kape para sa cyclist. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkle lang to. Para. No, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our wedding, <laughs> our, oh, wait, ha, our wedding <laughs> anniversary is October 8th. But now that we live up in the mountains, you have to go up. You have to go up. Ah, build nice. image na pala yes. siya. Yes, build image na siya. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dante sa Quezon City lang eh. Ngayon, Antipolo na. Yeah. So that's how we, that's basically how we got into, you know, it's because of him I got into bike commuting. Tsaka, I say, I go to the grocery, so come with me, and he'll go, bike. I'm like, grocery stuff? He said, yeah, bike. So, you know, we would be carrying heavy stuff, but I wouldn't complain because if I really wanted to be, have him with me, I'll have to, I, I realized I had to, so you can bike, I'll do it, fine, <laughs> you know, you know. Additional training, you know. Oh, oh weight malakas. training. Oh, weight training. <laughs> Hang <Hang-hang> goods. <laughs> Big ass. Yes, oh. it works. Yes. yes. But you know what's interesting is that yung, yung origin story ng getting into cycling. Like, kung wala magtuturo, you know, I just teach oh. myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Masyadong malaki yung bike, gagawa ko ng paraan. <laughs> like, it's, it's a first time for me to hear it. Like, usually, I want to learn a bike, pero I want to look for a teacher like para magturo mm, sa akin. Yeah. Hindi ako matuto kasi wala magtuturo eh, mga ganun. But this is like, you know, out of self, um, you know, drive. Na, yes, I wanna you were learn. both just diba? so driven. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much cycling would be a part of my life back then. Mm-mm. You know, I mean, it's just... Something uh, to some do for guy. fun, right? When you're a kid, diba? Oh. It's bike! Yeah. Right, right. When you see... Eh, okay, eh, parang... When when I was a child, my parents just arrived with a BMX. This parang okay, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> BMX, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, except for for me, uh, like I don't know, dad ko nagturo, and then I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but it's it also taught me like the value of trust. 
tuturo oh. trust ko pa yung dad ko trust <laughs> Paul parang <laughs> eh. parang okay medyo mas masaya siya okay anyway so you talked about you know for like bonding time yeah. uh, on a bike you know cycling uh, since you guys are married also parang we wanna hear about like what is cycling for for you as a ano pa yung mga family activities na na nagi involved sa cycling can you tell us more about that well as a, ahead, as, as a family as a family because we would often join also these community rides so that was good they would join yeah. but also because Rosar was a bike to work um yeah. family man it was uh he was like modeling and so i remember our daughter at the time she was only grade two and she was in a you know skirt and blouse but she would bike to school as wow. well wow yeah, yeah grade two and then our sons who also at some point you know this they go to these exclusive schools at the new and yeah. near oh. young mm-hmm. chauffeur driven you know everyone's chauffeur driven except them they were at the time there's a time at first so i would bring them angkas yes. okay angkas. Wow. yes so the thing is our bike. boys look like each other so he'd take them one at a time <laughs> he'll, he'll go to the gate and then the guard will say sir morning then on the way he'll go again back to our house and Round two, second set. Sir, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's actually a different, different sound. Right, <laughs> and then right. their classmates would say, Wow, ang saya, cool. cool, how cool. You know, they were like so excited to see. They'd be waving, they'd yeah, be waving. Yeah. So that was when they were little. But then as they were getting older, they started doing bike to school also. But Rosar would do it like bike pool. Right. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Follow, follow the leader. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but one time, like our son was just, Simihali was just like prep. Before we used to make Ateneo our playground, we would bring the bikes there, leave them there locked. And so one time I saw his bike, it was a Power Rangers bike. Pa. Right. So yeah. in the living room, I was like, <laughs> hey, why is your bike here? He goes, I bike. I said, yeah, I know you bike, but ha? then he, I said, I kissed him. He said, you smell like a street, you know? Then he goes, because I bike. Thought, thought. Then I go, what do you mean you bike? Then I looked at Rosario and he goes, yeah, we biked home. He's only prep. prep. He's yeah. Oh my God. I I love it. Home. <laughs> You're just following Rosar everywhere. Wow. Yeah, you know, so start them young talaga. And mm-hmm. true enough, you know, he was like 12 years old, si Mihali, later on. He biked with us to Tagaytay. And yeah. he still even had the energy to swim. And yeah, he was first it, in the adults. Very, very yes. good. Yeah. It's, it's like they were raised in the Netherlands. Or something. <laughs> yeah. So so they were biking to school, even up to college, bike to school. And then when we moved up to Antipolo, bike to school pa rin. Wow. Very good. So, I, I remember a car, the, the high school provided the bike parking rack for them. For them. Yeah. Because yeah, mm-hmm. they were biking to school. The, the principal actually said, Oha, for your sons, we put bike parking rack. Nice. Because nice. we would attend parent-teacher yeah. conferences right, right. or even your Christmas party. We would all be on bikes. But all the cars were, you know, packed. Kami bike pa rin. Yeah. So it became, it's, yeah, it's a family um, activity. Not just uh, utilitarian, but recreational. We also did a bike ride to Infanta as a family. Whoa. We it was a plan that it's gonna be me and Rosar yeah. and then they said, Hey who's going? Are you going? Are you going? So yeah, I'll go. I was my thought bubble was, but you guys haven't like been training. But I didn't want to say no. So I just said if you want to come, sick, here you go. They were so strong. Oh they were like God. overtaking us, you know. And I was like, wow. Yeah. They were whistling while. So, how many were you us? when you rode from Manila to Infanta? Us five. Five. And it was Walt with that. A friend? Yeah, I think. And the youngest was. At that time, 2011. Um, that was 2011 when we did that. Wanchos were 1994. Please do the math. I'm so poor in math. 1994, 6, 17. He was 17. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's so unthinkable. <laughs> just, and, it, and, and, and I just love the amount of trust that you put I know, into your children. Our children. They were smiling. There was no... There was no... Why are we doing this? None, none, none. They were smiling. And then one time I even saw Wancho coming, biking back down. For me, you know, I, once I'm up there, I'm up there. You can't make me <laughs> yeah. go down. He was biking down. I said, where are you going? He has said, to find I out. have to check on Annika, yeah. 
our eldest, our daughter. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna go back down pa for her so that they would bike up together. Just I said, wow, the advantage of youth, you know, yeah. young, yeah. being strong. So just fun, just nice. They want to do it again. They're thinking of doing it again. Yeah. Oh my god! That's like so sa, cool. sa, like sa and like we would sa, sa team Loyola, diba? We would organize these yeah. rides and like super daming kailangan preparations oh. and daming mga kailangan gawin but tas mga graduates na tayo mga may trabaho na tayo <laughs> I know nung 17 ako sa village pa rin ako nagbabike okay yeah. so, there's their brave rin actually yeah. they're quite brave wala kaming saga no yeah oh my god saga no support pa. in gear no bike packing wala oh, yeah. nice wow. but we're going to Infanta which is my hometown so yeah. You well, know, that's right, true. Right. Yeah. Everything is there. You can right. borrow, <laughs> borrow clothes. The only thing I had was a bikini. Because you like pack light, you know. Oh, oh, but still, that's so loud. That's still amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so from family, parang I want to know more about you as a couple. Like, mm-hmm. how did cycling brought you together? You know, uh, ring mga cycling adventures. I know you kind of talked to me about it na before. Parang you shared na some stories, but I want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Karen is from Quezon City, but uh, after, right after college, she, she decided to work in Infanta Quezon, where I'm from, and that's where we met. So um, after a few meetings. Among. I invited yeah. her to go out, and we went out on on bikes. So <laughs> we went, we went, we biked to the beach, wow. which is about six kilometers yeah. away from the town. We had. He kept checking. Is he? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Aww. She was using the Patria bike, which which was which she grew up with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. single speed. <sighs> uh, yung sa akin yeah. then single speed, which was a a BMX type bike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, 20 inch 20 wheels. inch wheels that's right yours was bigger I think yeah. it was 20 24 like that, yeah. inch heavy so mm-hmm. that was the first time and then you know it, it was uh, we went out again and yeah. again and again so until <clears throat> she decided to go back to Quezon City I biked her bike to Quezon City Mm. But I I put it on the on the bus. Right. I got off in Kainta, and from Kainta I biked it to Quezon City. So that's how I brought her bike home. M- my bike I mentioned already before it got stolen somewhere in Ermita. Oh, Ermita. Uh, yeah. Oh, when I was working, bike to work. Uh, so that's our story. The bike is a is a very essential component of our life together from beginning until now no it's like it's like it's like being on a date every day wow yeah. see we eat out and actually nice. okay, may na mention sa akin si Karen kanina how many bikes did you have at one point in your house what? 19 <laughs> oh my God. 19 bikes you know but i think that's actually but, baka there might have been more he hides but, stuff from me okay but, but they are low end bikes you know not the kind that you know you you spend a lot of money uh, for it's a uh, but this is for the whole family rent no? <laughs> for the whole family rent yeah. <laughs> yeah but still like N plus nineteen. N plus eighteen. Intense. The the secret there is, you know, when when you when you when I upgrade, mm-hmm. I end up able to build a new bike. Right. So that's that's right. how it happens. So over time, it became it became nineteen. So even if you're both cyclists, he still has to hide. I know new purchases, exactly. parts, from more you. receipts. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't tell me. He doesn't tell me. Yeah, w- that's, w- would that's you? something you have to learn. Uh. You learn. <laughs> Soon, Jan. Yeah, yeah because oh. you know, sometimes we have a budget. You know, food on the table, pay right. the bills, electricity, and then oh, buy. And then suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes you know, I look up. Hey, Is that a new bike? I'll say. Is that no? That's been there. It's been there for such a long time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the receipts. Be careful with the receipts. <laughs> receipts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Receibo. But you get uh, competitive with each other. Like, uh, that's yeah. A, that's a, that's she, a pre- she is very competitive. 
Wait, ha? When we're about to peak, <laughs> okay, wait, okay, I realize it's not actually being competitive. It's like I like to go at a certain speed because, like, for example, it's hot. I'm thinking, I want to get out of the heat, mm-hmm. so I'll go fast, right. you know? Or if Ako, I have a headache. I, I enjoy the ride. I enjoy the ride too. <laughs> I enjoy the ride too. But so, um, but I also have learned to trust, I always tell myself, trust the process, his process. Because he really goes at a certain pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I realize you always make it on time, no man. Because I'm worried. I'm the one who's like, want to be on time, I want to be on time. Mm-hmm. Then I start making, you know, um, Hey, you know, we're supposed to be there at like this. I said, you want to go ahead, you can go ahead. Yeah. But sometimes when we're biking, this is our, I don't know, if I overtake or if he overtakes, you always go, and then and then I go faster. Yeah, and then some, so it's, it's like this, you know, like a race. Right, and then sometimes right, right. going home, it's uphill. Yeah. So sometimes I'll say, hey, look, I really didn't mean this, but my vuelo was just so fast. And so I'm overtaking him. And then I just go, then later I realize he's actually gaining on me. Behind. He's being very quiet because he <laughs> wants to overtake me. And then whoever reaches the gate first. You know. Oh my God, that's so fun. <laughs> that's yeah. so fun, yeah. Sometimes I let her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my mind games. games, mind games. Mind games. Yes. <laughs> okay. You so, to... na, you let me. Yeah. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, so I want to talk now about Bicycle Friendly Philippines. Like, So, you guys founded it. So, how did it start? And uh, so, generally, what's a Bicycle Friendly Philippines? Go ahead. Shall we start from long ago? Well, we used, we used yeah. to. We used to belong uh, to ad- advocacy groups uh, promoting cycling. Ako, I started uh, early 2000. 2000. So yeah, it's 2000. almost 20 years now. Mm-hmm. Oh, almost 20 years ago. And then <clears throat> Karen felt that, you know, um, there's more to uh, the advocacy, more we we cannot simply be organizing rides because that was the uh, that was the what we were doing it was thrust. like promoting the bicycle in in a way you know mm. but i felt that the bicycle had been promoted enough so we felt that we needed to work on policies right, and right. ordinances right, yeah. a, just so that it would be more long term mm-hmm. so that's how bicycle friendly philippines came out and we felt that the name itself is because the streets aren't bicycle friendly so we wanted to move towards a bicycle friendly metropolis so it's just actually very new and but that's how it came about yeah, it's very we new. felt that we had to move um beyond just organizing bike events to Policy making, and we so we coordinate with LGUs and some government agencies. It's okay. Been, yeah. So what's the what are the processes involved when it comes to coordinating with policymakers? How do you connect with government agencies? What are the challenges probably? Well, in terms of in terms of policy making, sometimes what we do is we already come up with a template. So we have a template for an ordinance, or. Like before we were trying to work on an executive order. And then we look for someone who can sponsor it or sign it. Okay. And right. then, uh, but in terms of, let's say, how do we coordinate? We had a group with um, Attorney Oposa, which was uh, B- Bayanihan Bayani Sadaan. Sadaan. Yeah. And so he would <clears throat> really help us get to senators wow, nice. and, you know, uh, agencies. And we would have activities where we would be with. MMDA, DPWH, yeah. really heads, yeah. you know. Um, so when you mentioned yeah, about challenges, the challenges yeah, are, despite the fact that we have already been right there face to face with these uh, right. people, uh, and even more, very recently on my end, no, I attended a course in UP with NCTS uh, National Center for Transportation Studies, mm-hmm. and you see my classmates are from DPWH, MMDA, and other government agencies and LGUs. And there's always the topic of sustainable transportation or active transport. Mm -hmm. So they hear it that you should promote walking, cycling, and public transportation. And yet, it's really to change the mindset and make them work on it. That is, 
I feel like it's a wall. <laughs> right. It's so, like what you said. It's, it's almost ki- Don Quixote like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, That's yeah. a very nice way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Quixotic. But we are <clears throat> very hopeful. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yes. Because uh, we see a lot of uh, people like you who are going to continue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're actually so we're so happy. Yeah. We're so happy that Cycling Matters is around. Yeah. That you're oh, there. Yay. We are. Because, you know, it's like, um, it's not like we're giving up. No. Of but course, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it gives us more hope. Because, you know, people say, someone once said, wow, the way you talk, it's like, you're so optimistic. And I said, where else? Mm-hmm. We're already, got, we've we hit be. rock bottom now. Where else can you go? There's nowhere else to go but up. Yeah. yeah. But, and you're not referring I, to Yupi. <laughs> No. <laughs> yes. No. Well, there's a game on tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, but yes. <laughs> anyway, so I was just thinking that um, we have to be hopeful, we have to be optimistic, and then with new groups coming in or young people, uh, younger. I like to think of ourselves as still young, <laughs> you know, but younger people. Yeah, not what you're old. <laughs> yeah, I'm married an older man, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, because uh, sometimes parang it's like, you know, you're just waiting for Godot. Na parang di mo alam kung ano mangyayari. Diba? Yeah. Na parang, is there gonna be, may, may change pang darating. Sometimes parang ang bleak. Sa parang di mo alam eh. But, you know, for 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 us, like Cycling Matters, uh, BFP lang, we see the the developments. The, the, there's a direction eh. Na parang we're headed towards a more positive, bike-friendlier mm. future, right? Yeah. So parang... Yeah, I'm I'm excited about that. Mm, it's also nice because we we are in a we're in a like political social climate, but social climate right now where people are really trying to do things on their own. Yeah, you know, parang trying to break away from the norms and explore new ways to go about yeah. things. And biking is one of those solutions. <laughs> right. So yun yung nagi inspired in sa amin. All right. So before we talk more about BFP, I wanna. Um, you know, let's take a break a bit. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> I wanna ask some some um, fun questions. Uh, so, can you share us about uh, more about um, your experiences? Like specifically, what are the best and worst bike com- uh, bike adventures you've ridden? It- you know the you it's funny. No, wait, that, the worst becomes As actually turns out to be the best. Ooh. Oh wow! Seriously, because. We had a bike ride, the Marilake Road, you mm-hmm. know, that Man- Marikina Infanta Road, yeah. the back way. And meaning the back way, we, we didn't pass, we didn't pass the traditional way, which is through Teresa. Right. And, yeah. you know, we passed that, the new road now, which is called Marilake or the Marikina Infanta Road. But back then, it was unpaved. There were, there are, currently there are four bridges, but when we passed there, there were no bridges. But we were on road bikes. Oh, oh no. no! So it was uh, it was That's a wrong pre- move. yeah, it was a challenge. <laughs> but we, you know, in, when you're going downhill, then you have to get off. And even if you're, you know, you're braked and your your feet are you're breaking, digging, but you're not. You're still you're not stopping. Mm. You're still, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know. And now when I pass there, and I'm thinking, how could we have done this? You know, yeah. At and the sun was going down. It's like a race against time. Yeah. And, Daylight and but we made it and it was now I mean it was fun it, it was, was it was it, it, it was felt an like yeah how did you cross the bridges sorry there were no bridges I mean how did you cross down. the rivers pala? so we went down, we went down. Yeah. and then we went up. oh my yeah. god we down, so cyclo cross <laughs> yeah. yeah we were still there at nine p.m. yeah wow. it was dark yeah so yung uh, look and destination. Uh, do you know the one that says that that lion? Uh, well, well, that part, talaga the bayan of Infanta. Right. Yeah. right. Um, but to reach, kahit you to reach na mabuhay ka Infanta, yung, ano yun the lion? Um, where it's, the Lions Club? Ah, uh, not Lions Club. Lions. Yeah, it I looks forget. more like a. It's a welcome marker. Yeah, mm. A welcome marker. Yeah. So that was that's the worst, but it's also the best. You know, but we also. I always ask him what's the highlight of our 31 years of biking, and he one one is biking the gap. Biking the wow. gap. Yeah, it's the Great Allegheny Passage. It's in from Pittsburgh to Maryland. Pennsylvania. 
Ah, in the US. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Yeah. How was it like? It it makes you wistful. It made us think that I wish we had something like this in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. It, uh, super Wait. nice. It's a uh, a bike, but we did it off season. It was okay. it was a uh, cool. spur of the moment. Yeah, thing. it was a spur yeah. of the moment. It wasn't in November. Planned. It was not. See, it was not a season for biking. Right. Yeah. It was cold. The few bikers that we would encounter were also bundled up while we were in shorts because we weren't ready. Also, <laughs> the Filipinos. We're not, fa- the we're, <laughs> we're not. We're not planners, so we just you know let's do this. You just ride. Yeah, okay, super let's go. Super spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. super spontaneous. Nice. But it was really fun. Um, nice. It's a learning experience also because you know we were thinking maybe sana we have signs or that. Um, Toilets were clean. Right. Uh, even trash cans. Even simple things like that huh? mm-hmm. makes you think that I wish we had something like this yeah. for the Philippines. So, so Signs. the gap is a bike trail from yeah. Pittsburgh to, to DC? Yeah. Yes. But uh, so what we did was we did 150. Because it's that one, you're, it's 300. Uh, so we're planning to do the whole 300 next time. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm not going to make it anymore. Yeah, I, had, I had to Google search <laughs> what the gap was and it looks, it looks it's great. It's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. It's very nice. But we also nice. did recall. We did it in two days. Oh, nice. Two days. Yeah. Two yeah. days. Yeah, Wait, easy which one? The, 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 gap. the gap. The gap, two days. Two days, it is. Yeah, we stayed in this... Uh, Empty house. We arrived. It was so dark. And you didn't plan that. Yeah, it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. But we arrived. It was dark, and yeah. then like and really got dark. Lost. And then we were on the highway. You know how that is in, in the states. About mm. when you're on highway, it's like a no no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. But then well, we found so our way. Dark. Adventure, talaga. Grabe. No. I, yeah. I was afraid because he said, "Hey, you know, let's go at this pace." In my mind. My mind, I didn't verbalize it. I was like, "No, we can't go at that pace. We have to go faster. There might be bears in this trail." Right. Yeah. So we went. I kind of picked up the pace, not you know, non-verbal. <laughs> non-verbal. <laughs> non-verbal. But let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about the, the worst, uh, the best. Do you have a like a dream cycling adventure? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Take a take a sandale. Pwede kang magkaiba. Yung sa aking best. Yung kanya yung best and worst ni Rosal. Okay, go, go, go. Ang best ko eh, every day I think eh, that I bike. Jesus. Whether bike to, <laughs> bike to buy something from the grocery or bike to Pasig to bring Karen to work or bike to anywhere, I think it's uh, for me the best. The worst is when I bonk. Mm-hmm. When I you know, I Is there any particular time that you bonked na talagang war flashbacks? You always remember it. War flashbacks. <laughs> Hello, sa Bicol. Bicol. Yeah. I was, I was almost, uh, I was fainting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, intense. But was, you uh, made it. I made it. Yeah. Was this out of like <laughs> dehydration or? Probably. Uh, I was so hungry. Uh, and uh, it was, it was late. It's it, early evening. evening yeah, yeah, dusk. Ah, it was dusk. Al- okay. already dark. So, yeah, that was the the second day was the most difficult. Very intense. Yeah, so very hardcore. But uh, <laughs> it was still fun, you know. It, yes. it, I wouldn't say it's the worst, but you know, it was uh, it was also fun mm-hmm. because I was with friends. You know, when yeah, you bike right. with friends, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. I love how he says that. You know, um, every day. His best experience, best cycling experiences every day. I actually feel that you know, I feel so touched because he's really the one. I mean, I, I people always ask, and I say, for as long as I'm with him, I'm happy. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> goals, goals, <laughs> goals. <laughs> Maybe cycling and and love goals. Yeah, <laughs> in one. <laughs> yeah, but then you know, in it's still. But you know, people ask. Is that like every day? I said, no, every, in the morning, there's also like, oh, I'm going to bike. I'm going to bike. Yeah, I'll bike. Because when I don't <laughs> bike, I hate it. I get I get mm. irritated. I'm like, I knew I should have bike. So more often, it's just really, I do have those days when I wake up and then it's kind of hard to get going. But I, when I'm there, it, go na. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a go. How about your dream, yon? Your dream adventure, naman. Each, uh, each of you or both of you. I 
dream of uh, just biking to you know wherever the horizon you want to bike the whole philippines yeah but the whole to, philippines. We haven't, <laughs> do you know we haven't been to sagada oh. yeah, we, mm. we so we were thinking we want to bike either. to sagada pagod pod or pagod pod we want to yeah. do that so it's or still down, yeah down to, south. to to bike uh, locally in the country mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And madami pa no, madami pa. Madami pa, madami pa. Cuz uh, yeah. like we live in Antipolo now and we're discovering other places, clear falls, clear rivers mm. in Antipolo. That yeah, we've in Rizal, not, in Yeah, Rizal. Rizal. You're not Rizal. even mm. done in Antipolo. Yeah. Yeah. In Antipolo <laughs> alone, there's so many places to go to. Like we haven't been to Kaliraya. Kaliraya is yeah. great. Yeah, I haven't been there. Yeah. Yeah. They say it's nice camping ground. Super, yeah. super nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we want to do stuff like that. You yeah. Know. So. We haven't been to uh, where else? <laughs> 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 but just so many, like so many stories in my head. Kaya rin, Sagada, yeah. Benguet, yeah. Um, parang Sea of Clouds. Tatay mo yung, yung ride mo and then like mag-ride ka and then like Sea of Clouds. Yes. Yeah. Yung mararamdaman yung you climbs a bit <laughs> but you know may fulfillment the right. bottom team stars but yeah i mean like so mga like, listeners that like if you have like suggestions uh, on a bike adventure na gusto nating i-try you know just share it tapos let's see kasi ang dami pang pwedeng puntahan sa pilipinas ikaw super. ba anong best and worst no? best and worst like super ikli lang best ay yung Odax last Year. Last year, yeah. Ilang kilometer yan? 200. Yeah. So, kasama sila dyan. Yes. Tapos, sobrang okay nung time natin. Mayas, mayas. So, yeah. sobrang saya. Yung worst ko, yung first ever Odax ko. <laughs> Kasi nag, <laughs> nag-bonk din ako sa 150 kilometers. And like, sobrang worst feeling eh. Like, uh, alam ko marunong ako magbike pero parang nakalimutan ng legs ko paano magbike. <laughs> okay. And then like may 50 kilometers pa ako na kailangan i-bike. So parang super hassle niya. Pero tapos ko pa rin. Pero like with like 10 minutes to spare. Right. So yan. So that's mine. What's yours? My my best bike adventure. Um I think yun yung mag-isa ako. Wow. <laughs> no offense, ah. um, <laughs> so, that's okay. Ito yung <laughs> no uh, pressure no? Oh, uh, it ito yung pumunta I, I had bought my bike parang a month pa lang. Naka-giant content pa ako. Na. Okay. Tapos for some reason hindi nagtutugmay ang schedules with the team Loyola. So sabi ko, okay, na, na, nadala, nadala na nila ako sa sa, sa radar sa Tarangka. Uh-huh, yeah. Tapos sabi ko, what if I do the Sierra Madre loop? Wow. <laughs> Tapos, it alone. Yeah, so I Kakabili ko lang nun ng Gator Skins ko. Gator Skins are, are continental ano, road tires that are puncture, ano na, puncture proof. And and I just decided na, okay, since wala akong makakaride, I'll just ride alone. Tapos sobrang nakakatakot siya kasi parang, okay, I was alone, di ba? Yeah. And parang kung maflatan ako. Ganyan. Tapos first time. Oh, first time pa. And then when I got home, sobrang, wow, I, did I just do that? <laughs> parang it was just, a, it was just a poor, poor, such a personal milestone, di ba? When, when now that I'm more experienced, I I when I never I remember it, parang did I really do that? I was so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> parang and that's why it's maling nang yari. To ride alone. Oh, uh, worst bike adventure. Malapa mo isip na worst. Ano pa worst ko? That's good. That's good. Wala. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Siguro in terms but, of bonking, yung yung baler. Kasi hindi ah. namin natapos eh. We went from Manila to Baler. Tapos sa sobrang deads namin pagdating namin ng Baler, sabi namin, hindi tayo makabalik. Hindi kaya. <laughs> bus na lang kami. Okay. Oh, so yeah. nag-bus kami pa. We, we also do that. We yeah. take the bus going home. Yeah. 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 To, to have made it, to reach the destination yeah. yes. is good. And it's, then, mm. if you want to go back, fine. But if you want to take the bus, that's... Definitely. Okay. Uh. So, sa me to me lang parang, if there's anything closest to worst, yun yun. Pero I really enjoy that ride. Yeah. <laughs> Pare- yeah. One thing I've learned from biking is, uh, you know, you will realize that n- there are many helpful people along the yes. way. Yes. Oh. True. Yeah. Uh, you suffer a flat tire. Chaka uh, daming vulcanizing shops. Yeah. So oh. if you forgot to bring a spare tube or patch kit, daming, ano, daming mga vulcanizing shops. Yeah. Just the other day, Monday, I was commuting home. 
Siyempre, of course, when I see people na naflatan ng the road, yeah. I, I try to help. Yeah. Pero awkward kasi, apat kami na magkakasunod. <laughs> Tapos nakita namin, parang sabay-sabay nakita namin yung guy yeah. okay. na nag-inayos niya yung bike na sa, sa gilid. Tapos parang, tinaray namin lapitan, pero may nauna ng isang guy. Tapos ako parang, ah, okay, okay na. <laughs> oh. okay so parang na. nagkahiyaan yeah. pa kami, sinong yeah. mauunang tumulong. Uh, 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 Sobrang, nice. ano, nakaka... Ang, ang saya ng feeling na ganun na you meet random strangers yes. who just want to help each other. Yeah. Build sense of community. And cyclists will always nod at each other or wave yeah. or yeah. say, eh, hey, oh, uh, so lakas mo ah. <laughs> <laughs> or, sa <"Sapot> puto mo. <laughs> sa biyahe. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they'll always, you know, they're friendly. Yeah. Friendly. Friendly guys. Yeah. So let's proceed to the second part. So let's proceed to part. our next part. Second part. So for this part, we'll be we'll, let's talk about more, ano, deeper, ano, dis, um, discussions about the bike bicycle friendly Philippines. Okay. And we had coming isang naalala when we were preparing for this episode. Na um, there was this viral post that you that you had um, I think last year about mm. uh, where you experienced an in this incident at Mega Mall yeah. in SM. You know, can you can you refresh us about that experience? Like how oh, nga, no? what, how was how, how was that experience? Para sa akin yun yata ang worst ah. Oh nga, no? <laughs> But that's a, that's a, that's yeah, not a very nice experience to you're right, no, a ride mm. and then you see that you're all yeah. if it it can't be just by uh, if it's just one. You're th- we were three bikes eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if it's if it's one that's flat, oh, I have a flat. But all three yeah. flat. So you parked your bikes at Mega Mall. Mega Mall, mm-hmm. and then we had it was part yeah. of work. We had to do some uh, an ocular thing. Eh. Yeah. But when we came back f- for our bikes, we saw that all three were flat. Yes. Oh. We decided to have lunch. Yeah. Right. At uh, SM Mega Mall. Mm-hmm. So we parked in the railing, yung mm-hmm. Julio Vargas, yeah. right in between A and B, SM. Uh, a yeah. And B. And then when we came back, nah, you know, they were, were our, our tires were punctured. For all three bikes. All yeah. three bikes. So when all three are punctured or flat, do you it's felt, not a coincidence. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not yeah. A, yeah. yeah. And you then know? how did you confront terrible. that situation? Um, we asked the guy there in uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Barong. They didn't know daw. They didn't know. They didn't yeah. know. So yeah. I posted, mm-hmm. and then one of my former students. Um, messaged me to say, uh, Teacher Karen, my brother, uh, my brother is the GM. Okay. So I messaged him, and then right away we started doing an exchange, an exchange, an exchange, and then, you know, so that they would um, work on it to fix right. it up. And has anything significantly changed? Uh, uh, have, within within days, within days, he sent me a, a photo that they had added bike racks mm. and then I recently also asked him and he said that they're adding 40 more parking um, s- slots I'm not I can't think if it's bike rack but for 40 to be strategically placed around, around the, the perimeter complex. yeah right right um, for future for 2020 he mentioned that because we told him you know there's no cctv mm, and yeah. also the area needs to be uh there's only one guard so he said for 2020 it's in the works they'll be putting cctv and nice. additional guards then he said so i hope that the guards but there are additional guards already mm. then i said i hope that the additional guards have been briefed properly yes. and that they will be treating cyclists with more respect because I feel that we're always third class. What can you do? Not there. You always have to be shooed yeah. away. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, we treat us just as much as the way they treat as all customers, other customers. Yes, yeah. all yeah. other customers. They so, w- when, when this happened, were you, did you, had you already started uh, bikes, Bicycle Friends? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, we had posted it there too. Yeah. All right. Then, have you had um, other experiences elsewhere in the parang? You experienced something, or you saw something, and you went into an, a discussion with people, na ano, in those establishments. Uh, you know, it's always, it's always, you know, when you're entering a building, mm-hmm. um, when I go to my my dentist, so I I bike, and then they always say, um, "Mom, ID." So I give an ID. Sometimes I give my license. They say, "Oh." Licensya to ah. Pero, nakabike ko kayo. 
Then they I'll say, yeah, I do. I use it as a teachable moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. it was traffic. It's right. healthy. Yeah. You know. And then he, but then they'll say, ma'am, uh, pakitulak. Huwag niyo sakyan yung bike, pakitulak niyo yung mm. bike. Then I'll say, pakisabi mo rin doon sa kotse, pa- bumaba yung driver, <laughs> pakitulak <laughs> niya <laughs> yung kotse niya. Oo nga. Kasi I'm like, why, are you, wh- why do you want to check my bag, but you're not checking the bag mm-hmm. of the c- right. person in the car? Yeah. So I feel that, you know, this discrimination. So I have tried to talk about it with them, you know, on the spot, like, mm. you know, uh, teachable moments. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. and But it, It's not rare. It happens pretty often yeah. when you ask yeah. about bike parking. The guards will often say, "Wag jan." So saan po pwede mm. basta wag jan. Mm-hmm. You know. They, so I guess they need to be. That's why I was telling my former student, who's the GM now of Meg, I said, make sure that your uh, guards are briefed, so that you know a uh, future current that it's better treatment for cyclists yeah. is better. They cannot simply say bawal jan. Yes. They have to without give a, giving give an option. An option. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Where, your customers, where yeah. right. even yep. if your workers, your all yeah. ben, they benefit from you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, Our what, yes. Okay. Most recent experience is in the Senate. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. We were part of a technical working group mm-hmm. uh, on transportation. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> transportation. Yes. So we were looking for bike parking because we went there on bikes and there were there was none mm. so again that was uh, something that we brought up to when in, in in the meeting that a year ago we were here and we asked for bi- bike parking and a no year later so. wala pa rin oh no, no. no sorry, it was more than a year ago more than a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow. and i brought it up i said i i mean i really said you were here three years ago techno working three group. years ago It was a promise that right. you would provide bike parking, and there's still no bike parking. Yeah, so it was disheartening and yeah. disappointing. Although they promised again now, I I sent specs, I mm. sent you know proper specs, and so that they said they're working on it. I should follow up. Right. And I, I remember like there was a like a, a meeting uh, sa ADB. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then the right. ADB. Can you tell us more about it? Because in the past, ADB transport forums, right? Yeah, we've never had a problem parking our bikes. They have But a nice parking. Yeah, they have nice bike parking. The basement mm-hmm. bike parking. Mm-hmm. But for some particular reason, this year they didn't allow uh, bike parking. Bike par- for us. For us. They uh, they said we have to go outside in a, an, an open, empty lot. An empty lot. So, um, they ex- well they explained. Someone messaged me and said, you know, perhaps um, in the past, whoever organized already made pre-arrangements. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking, despite that, let's just say it was not done. There was no pre-arrangement. But the mere fact that we are there already, and this is a transport forum, mm-hmm. we're in there talking about innovations, and the whole poster has yeah. a huge bicycle oh there. Yeah. I was just thinking that. <laughs> What is it to accommodate one, two, three, three. bicycles? Yeah. And actually, no. Why do you, why do you have to pre-arrange exactly bike parking? Exactly. Yeah. Is it so such it's, a complicated it's, it process? Bit, yeah, it's <laughs> just very quite <laughs> ironic. You know? Right. Oh, wow. That is. Now, what's very interesting then about uh, bicycle friendly Philippines, and even the, both of you, is about, you've been doing this for three decades. Okay, three thirty years, right? Yeah. And well, I mean, we've been years. biking. We've been, we've been married for thirty <laughs> decades, but we've been two decades. <laughs> maybe doing the advocacy work for twenty years. Twenty, okay. Uh, so twenty yeah. years uh, in doing oh. the advocacy. Would you say that anything has changed or evolved in the advocacy over those twenty years? For me, I think it's there's very little, but but there there are few things we I'm very happy with, like. Pasig, you know, mm-hmm. Pasig is serious about, you know, um, promoting uh, active transport. So Karen is connected with them. So yeah, um, uh, I'm with him when he say that it seems like it's been incremental or um, short. Very, it seems like we have. It seems little, mm. but you know, when you really think about it, perhaps there's more awareness now in the number of people. Who are bike biking to work? Yeah. 
more people yeah. who are advocating for it. Right. And also, although it's not much because I hate when they do, you know, oh, there's a bike lane. But it's just a painted uh, strip. Line, uh, it's, a pa- it's not enough, right? right? So in my mind, people say better than nothing. But for me, I wish that if they were going to do something, do it right. Right. In as much as you are ex- expanding um, energy to put a bike lane there, how's about really going the whole nine yards mm-hmm. and do it well? Committing to it. Yes, mm-hmm. you know, not just not for the sake of saying, see, we put one or right. see there is one. Yeah, exactly. So, but so in that in that sense, no, there's like a it's a. Um, negative, positive, positive, negative thing that yes, there have been changes through the 20 years that, because back then there was not even a painted line. Right. Yeah. Uh, so there have been, but I guess the the frustrating part is that they're not do there. It's not a wholehearted mm-hmm. um, effort to really do it properly, or that even the mindset is still. You can tell the Philippines is still very car centric. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, Cars are the priority. Mm. So now that's on the part of the government and, and the people in power. Now, how 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 would you say could people like us, the cyclists, those who are at the heart of the advocacy, how could we um, be doing more for the advocacy as individuals, as groups, as regular people going to work? Twenty years ago, there was no Facebook. Right. Twenty years ago, we didn't have social media like this. We did have. There was already email, so there were those Yahoo groups Mm-mm. where you could have discussions, <laughs> you know. Mm. But uh, with this now, there's so much that can it's the, the it spreads like wildfire. So that's that's pretty yeah. good. So you can do that. Sharing is good, but even the mere fact that like when you, people say walk the talk or bike the talk, yeah, you know. So by biking, uh, you're doing a lot already because. Sometimes, you know, people say, build it and they will come. Well, I'm thinking they're not building it. How's about, let's just go let's and just show. Go. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go uh, so that they'll build it. Right. Because, right. uh, yeah. you know, we can't, if you keep waiting, it might not happen. Yes. Uh, so, um, that's, I'm just thinking that's how you can do it. Uh, groups, sharing. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, you know, there's also the part where I feel like, are we already preaching to the choir <laughs> if right. we're echo chambers? Yes, yes. So we need to really spread out and Mm-mm. try to reach out to non-cyclists. Because amongst ourselves, we know it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and we don't need to, to, to tell ourselves what to do. But how can we really get others to see it the way? And, and I, I just came from being with my college friends. <laughs> And we had a really, you know, a discussion. And I could tell that uh, it was like, but you know, the cyclists or people biking, they're on a obstructing. I said, no, the cars are obstructing our way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So you yeah, can you see there's a pers- yes, the, the yes. perception, the the perspective also. Yep. It's starting to sound like religion. No? <laughs> <laughs> you try, you have to talk to people who aren't part of it yet. Yes. And then you try to, I know, I know, parang, Kailangan mong buga, buwagin yung mga misconceptions nila and try to help them understand do, yeah. how they could be part of your <laughs> yeah. advocacy. So speaking no? of, like, you know, sa mga listeners natin, like, baka pwede nyo i-share yung, yung uh, podcast sa, sa friends natin yes. para mag-join sila sa religion natin. Let's spread the word. <laughs> Let's spread, spread the, the word. word. Bring a you know? friend. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's very nice. <laughs> yeah, I, that's true. Like, bike... Mm. Uh, bike the talk, mm. uh, especially now, like the info dissemination is so efficient now, yeah. super bilis. Like, on thing share lang, and then you share the knowledge, you share the information. Yeah. Like, it's so effective na. So, and I, yeah. I also like the idea, you know, whenever you're riding on the road on a weekday and people are stuck inside a, a car and they just see you doing your thing. I've that heard, already sparks yeah. interest. I've yeah. heard because like I, I had to bike along C5 and then there was really a whole you know a number of people waiting and you can hear oh dapat mag bike na lang tayo mm. mas mabilis pa yeah and then wait can I make yabang <laughs> go ahead yes, please can I make yabang parang <laughs> so, kanina pa yata <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no 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 wait. so one time I was biking and then a uh, couple on a motorcycle passed me and mm. they were very distinct because the lady was in pink but for some reason they kind of 
paused and then looked back at me. And I was like, okay, you know. So bike, bike. Then I reached up in Antipolo. That same couple passed me, and they, the the lady went like this and said, "Na unahan pa tayo na nakabike." <laughs> you know, I was like, woohoo! But I have to say because I was fast because my Strava was on. So when my, <laughs> yes. when my Strava was on. And take note. You were alone. I was not I was, with you. Yes. Wow. Yes, that's true. Otherwise, <laughs> we would. Uh, yeah, uh, would have been very slow. <laughs> <laughs> so my Strava um, motivates me to go fast. It happens yes, again. Yes. Yes. No, na hanu pa yung ibang. Yeah, but ibang. yeah, it's. But yeah, uh, that's true. Like, misa kapag ba bike commute and then and daming naghintay commuters naghintay for a ride. Oh. Yes. And then they would definitely notice you. Na parang oh, I'm waiting here. And then may nagbike na nagmumove lang mm. through traffic. Nakangiti pa. Oh, yes, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I I want to try to remove the smug look on my yeah. face, but I can't because you know I'm like, our youngest son just recently started biking to work again, and he's like really super ecstatic yeah. about it because he doesn't have to stand in line for yes. a ride. Even the commute doesn't take it. It's he like takes, I think at least three rides to get before, to work. but now you know he tells us he's like there. 20 minutes mm, 20 or minutes, less yeah. you know so he's like woohoo I'm home you know <laughs> and he's a fixie rider yeah. oh wow from Antipolo uh, no no so, he stays in Taguig uh, and works yeah. in Taguig <laughs> 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 but well yes you know they, they put us to they've, shame they've, these fixie riders yeah, just yeah, going overtake up us Antipolo. going up going I'm up like Antipolo. go ahead you guys are gonna get old to one day yeah but So it's uh it's nice that uh, when people see that you're biking and then or hear about it, may it might it might make them think again about um, changing their tra- mode of mm, transportation. Right. It's 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 really nice to hear about how optimistic you guys are, <laughs> and and uh, we want to know, Ren, and you can this is this can be your opportunity to also let our listeners know what does uh, bicycle friendly Philippines have in store for the coming year in 2020. Uh, no. What are your plans? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that right? now that we're here, uh, people know about you. Maybe they can join um, you the uh, your plans. If I try yeah. to get more people to. Uh, We fight for our advocacy. You know, we have a current uh, project with light rail trans. What's it? Yeah. L- 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 LRMC. Light rail management oh. authority. Yeah. For providing bike, so so that people who want to go bimodal, mm-hmm. they can park in uh, in a station, a station, right. yeah. and then Libertad, take a train. Libertad. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's in the works, but again, but, uh, as I mentioned, we have come up. Again, some difficulties or challenges still because, like, certain um, LGUs are, or even MMDA are, like, you know, like saying no bike. Because we all, aside mm. from uh, bike parking, we also want there to be bike lanes to lead to the mm, station. Right, yeah, of course. But um, again, there's still, you know, certain LGUs that are like um, yeah. not. Totally for it, and they still need to be convinced in terms of the putting lanes. a bike lane mm. or even putting giving space for a bike lane. Right. But in terms of uh, LRMC, they are already they're in with that project, nice. and so but we still need to do further coordination. Mm. So that's just that's just one of the projects. I mm. mean, there's so many things we want to do um, that we haven't done yet. Yeah, that we haven't <laughs> done yet. Um, We're We're trying to work on. Uh, well, per- personally speaking, I think if there's ever gonna change, uh, we we have to do it in 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 two areas, uh, or two levels: the level of the individual, yes, which we were talking about already, and then the level of uh, the system. See, the individuals who would like to. Um, change their lifestyle into a cycling lifestyle should be enabled. Should mm-hmm. they, they should be given the capacity to do it. And and we're talking about the system. Yes. So when you're talking about the system, we're talking about infrastructure. We're, we're talking about the three E's. Yeah. You know, uh, engineering. So we need to say we should uh, build uh, infrastructure that is friendly to cycling. Safe and uh, <clears throat> accessible, accessible to to cyclists, young and old. Um, the other E is uh, education. I think this is the most, probably the most difficult 
changing the mm-hmm. mindset, mindset of Filipinos, especially the ones, uh, the leaders of, of our government. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we need a champion. If our president could be the champion of uh, <laughs> cycling, pare, imagine the change that, that he can make mm-hmm. you know, for cyclists. And lastly, enforcement. So whatever policy we come up with, the uh, policies that are bike friendly should be enforced. And I think that's where we're lacking also. So if, you're, if we are able to work on those three, then the system will be in place, the environment will be in place to enable potential cyclists, mm-hmm. uh, may empower them to be able to to bike uh, young and old, men and women alike. Yun. And on the part of uh, bicycle-friendly Philippines, there are so many things. Eh? Uh, mm-hmm. In terms of education, I I think we should we should include. Uh, uh, a course about cycling mm-hmm. as early as grade school, right. maybe grade five. Mm-hmm. Teach them not only how to bike, but you know the proper mindset. Why? Why are we biking? Things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Advocacy. Teach yeah. them young. Yeah. Um, in in terms of uh, driving, about the driving. Uh, if you're if you're applying for a driver's license, you should there, there should be some training. Right? Yeah. So they should experience biking and you know feeling how it is to be on the road on the road mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. cars passing yeah. by so that they'll know you know so cycling should be part of that training too yeah. right. uh, so that's education uh, in terms of uh, uh, engineering work with uh, well, we're not we're not engineers so they, they don't know more about future how. future civil engineers we're hopeful. I right. recently gave a talk in UP, and we were hopeful that you know they don't have to uh, go into really expensive infrastructure. It's just about redesigning the street, being equitable, giving road space to all road users. Right. So people walking, people biking, public mass transportation, and even the cars. We're not against the cars, but equal for everyone. You know, right. so redesigning yeah. the street. Okay. Well, there's a lot to be done, and it's so yeah, nice yeah. that we have people like you are optimistic <laughs> alongside us. From uh, and we're so thankful that you joined us here today on our podcast. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for coming, Karen and Rosar. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yes. We had so much fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, would you like to invite our our listeners and our viewers like to, you know, check the. Facebook? Yeah, yeah, we have a Facebook page. It's Bicycle Friendly Philippines. All you have to do is like and follow. And you can leave your comments as well. And for me, if you really want to ma- make our country bicycle friendly, as I mentioned earlier, ride your bike. If you hate being stuck in traffic and life is too short to be stuck in traffic, ride your bicycle because at least you won't be part of the problem. You will be part of the solution. So bike, well bike, bike, bike. <laughs> yes. Bike, yes. Bike, Thank bike, you. bike. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. All right. So catch our episode next week when we start talking about how women, particularly a veteran and a beginner, would yes. try to uh, reconcile the things that they don't understand <laughs> about cycling. Um, please, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Cycling Matters podcast on Spotify. Our episodes are the next best thing to riding your bike on a Monday. Just search Cycling Matters in your favorite podcast platform that can be Spotify or YouTube while you're daydreaming about your last weekend ride. Put on some earphones and enjoy the discussion. You can catch more of Cycling Matters on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram or on our website at cyclingmatters.ph. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next episode of the Cycling Matters Podcast. Until then, ride safe, Philippines.